Welcome everyone to episode 24 of season 9 of Empyrean Galactic Survival. I guess it's a good thing going up to bed there because I, as you saw, I started down here because I fell through that um, block. I guess the way to keep from falling out of the ship entirely when it comes in is to be up there. Anyway, as I promised, I, uh, as you can see, I uh, brought in on the factory my landing pad slash base right next to where I was parked before I was parked over there. The only problem with this place is there's uh, loaded with critters. Mainly the uh, shiny butts, teleropods, and the uh, there's also some dinosaurs. Aggressive dinosaurs. Well, anyway, now that I'm here now, look at that, still floating. If I go up and get into the uh, driver's seat here, I'll settle this back down. Great on fuel. Um, I want to go out today and check out some Xerox POIs. Quite a few around here. Uh, for example, there's this drone port up here. And, uh, yeah, maybe let's go check that out. I haven't been into a dro drone port yet. And there's um, quite a few of them on this planet. You can see there's two there. I think there's one down here. There's a few more scattered about. So it would behoove me to get in there and find out how to take it down from the outside. So that's what I'm going to do. And since I have to go in, I have to make sure I have enough ammo. Let me uh, take about half of that. Don't need quite that much projector rifle rounds. Uh, I think I'll take this. Got 50 charges for that. Um, you see, it has an explosion radius of three. It does a thousand damage. So that might be a, a worthy weapon to. Like, blow open doors, that sort of thing. Uh, but I do need more laser rifle cells. And let's see, 50, so that's... Extra thousand. Right, we're armed and dangerous. Um, my armor's still okay. Uh, I think I'll stick with the radiation protection. This is a highly radioactive planet. Uh, let me get some food before I leave. Yeah, pizza does the job. And let's see, what else should I take? Oh! Just in case, I should take a core. Uh, being as this is a new POI to me, anyway. Uh, there may be um, CPU extenders in there that are always worth picking up. And you can't really pick them up. If you don't put a core down.
Yes, I'll put it into the small vessel. Speaking of which, see what the ammo situation is. Yep, that should be more than enough. There's likely to be a, some drones flying around it. Restock our fuel. Alright. Go have some fun. I, at least I hope it's fun. Let me get rid of that new marker. base listed here. There we go. Drone port. Gist drone port. about nope I don't think so sometimes they don't show up until you get right on top of them eh, let's see what sort of armament does this thing have it's usually a safe bet to start from the top. And if I find they can hit me, I'll beat a hasty retreat. Coming from the side. Are those all lasers? I'm assuming. Yes, they are. And they can all hit me. Alright. I'm going to take a different strategy here. Everything's so hard to see here. Where the heck is it? the bug.
go toe to toe with them, no problem. So an individual laser gun. guns there. Alright. Let's go in and say hello to the Gist Xerox. Come. Interesting looking place. Probably already triggered that. Again, maybe not. If I had to guess, I think all this stuff here is rigged to explode. They put it all right next to each other. And that looks like an explosive block down there. So if I'm going to do the core, I'm going to have to do it manually. Not throw the switch. switch right there. I love to watch those guys pop. Center there. That's right, I put 
my sniper wave roll. There we go. Okay, the question is, can I destroy that core without blowing the rest of this place up? Try just for jollies. Plasma blaster. It has the same kind of uh, explosive radius as a rocket. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's use the booby boom. Good. It looks like we contained the explosion anyway. Uh, I want to find out where this comes out. Because there are quite a few more of these on this planet. Alright. It's uh, that block next to the dome on the landing pad side. Very good. Okay, now we can do some looting. See if there's any uh, CPU extenders, but I don't think so. A really small POI. Alrighty then. Clean for fuel. Oxygen. Fuel. Kind of stormy outside, doesn't it? Oh, there is a cleverly hidden container. Carefully hidden containers. Oh, not much room to hide anything there. There's those explosive blocks. I was correct in assuming all that would blow up.
Yeah, only throw the switch is if, if you can't get to it any other way. There's so many creepy sounds on this planet. Got that the uh, the hole I drilled down to the it's right there to the core. The sounds, I swear. Wolves howling. <laughs> Definitely a creepy planet. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Should try something else. These two are pretty close together. I wonder what is up here. Let's get that on the map at least before we go home. And that would be northeast. Sources over there. You're doing right, I'm hostile. base. There's a couple of those on this planet as well. A couple other ones. Yeah, it looks like that's got lasers on it too. I think most of the gist will have lasers on it. Exposed to two of them there. Let's see, let's see what do we have over here? Oh, a magnesium deposit. Very nice. Quite get low enough here. And not quite in range either.
see, this exposes me to just two of them, I think. Yeah, let's see if I can do a... a flyby. by attack. them stacked up over there. Yeah, let's get this one here. Wasn't a very good shot. Okay, got that one. Now I think I can... Creep up to the base of it here. And snipe around the corners. Oh, pop gun. Hopkins are so annoying. Next. Go in. Say hi. Guests seem to be more automated here. I've run into any uh, bipedal 
organic yet. It's going to pop out. Yeah, we've got some mechanoids down here. Uh, here's spiders. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's spiders in this next room. Yes. This seems familiar. Oh, we're unfriendly with the abyssal. They're friendly with the uh, gist and his. Zerex, the other Zerex. Okay. Ooh, that sounds like some organics. my EM pulse rifle. Alright. This is a windy sort of place. Just remember, do not throw the switch. Very good. And let's see, the core was right here. is on the inside just inside of the antenna remember that because there are a few of these that I have yet to attack Short-term memory loss. And I don't even smoke weed. Must be getting old.
Here's the fuel. that? Oh, I hit the F key. It scared me for a second there because my light went out. Who knew your light went out when you uh, sat down to rest? something hiding in here. Oh, just that antenna. Alright, I think that's everything. And we've made a good start on ridding this planet of those putzes. You know, we can get these things tomorrow maybe and support base. Well, maybe over here. We just did a support base in a drone port. There's another set down here we can do. But uh, for now, let's get our booty home. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting looking planet. It's got all those sort of snow peaked mountains and this large tower like mountains. Good job. It, it is very alien looking. for another harvest here. Look. I linked. My wheat? Did you say wheat? Yes, I said wheat. Not grain, but wheat. Wheat. Another harvest in, just like a farmer. Let's make some food. Hmm. 
make some waffles? Cheese. Hot, hot drinks. Grab uh, a key burger. All right, I'll be right back after I put my ill-gotten gains away. The next day. Okay, everything is put away, and we have some stuff in the my base deconstructor outside to be deconstructed. Nice. A restroom is less cosium. There's some a restroom deposits on this planet that we have to take advantage of before we leave. We're doing quite well. Plenty of pentaxid. Over a full stack of magnesium, so no problem making rockets. Yep. All is going just as planned. But I think we'll call that a day, and tomorrow we'll go out after these two guys. And uh, I will core these from the outside. Although, it's no big deal going in, really, because there's really not much resistance, but that's neither here nor there. As always, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.